some lip buzzes. good posture. Take a nice low deep breath in for four counts. Hold for four. Now hiss out for eight. Breathe in. Two, three. Hold for four. One, two. Hiss out for twelve. is done fully in your head voice. We are not in our mixed belting or our belting states just yet. In my experience and in my students' experience, it is so much easier to start with the head voice, get that moving, and then move into the other style. So once again, this is... It's light. We have no belting once again, all in the head voice. One, two, three, four. where it is comfortable placing your soprano voice or your head voice. If you feel to the very top of your mouth, like right at the roof of your mouth, that is where you should feel most comfortable, feel like you are making your sound or where your sound is resonating within your mouth. If that is something that is completely new to you, I can put more warm-ups down below. Let me know in the comments if you would. Now that we're going to start moving into our mix voice and then into our belt voices, when I'm singing my head voice, my soprano, I try again to feel it right at the roof of my mouth, like right in the middle of my placement, for example. Oh, that's my soprano. I'm not like way back. Oh, 
way back in my throat or in my nose. Ah, nope, right in the middle. Oh. And again, if you guys want a video actually showing you guys placement, I would be happy to make it for you. Let me know down below. But as we're moving into our mix, we're going to sing. And if you hear that and you think, oh my gosh, I would never sing like that. That sounds so far forward, so brassy, so nasal. I would never do it in these exercises. And then as you get more comfortable in that brassy mix belt state, you can pull back. Mixing and belting are all about comfort, finding safe and healthy ways to belt that will let you continue singing, not suffer from vocal issues, damage, or having like a hoarse voice from singing incorrectly. So once again, we are going to sing. And if I were singing that in my head voice, it would be but because we're going into mixing, I'm going to put it more forward so I'm not thinking at the roof of my mouth anymore. I'm actually thinking behind my front teeth, maybe into a little bit of my nasal cavity. So from head voice, to behind my front teeth, do you guys hear that difference, that brassiness? There's more of a ping to it. Give it a try. If that's new to you, you can come back and reference this video. But Other than the ooey and ooey, we can do na 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 na. Now this one is even more far forward, and again, you might think that's ridiculous. What is she doing? I promise you, you get comfortable singing here. Na 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 na. As you take it up, na 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 na. You realize, oh, I can sing in that upper register. Now I'll find out comfortable ways to hit those notes and then pull back on that nasal tone that I'm putting in this warm-up. Start right here. Nya, 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 nya. Two, three, four. Nya, 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 nya. E flat. on the word yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. as we again are moving and doing this cross training. This next exercise, we'll a little bit lower. On the word no, we're going to sing. No, 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 no. If again, I were doing head voice, soprano singing. No, 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 no. 
vibrato. Do you guys hear the vibrato? But I'm putting it more in that forward placement behind the front teeth, feeling that chest voice from doing our, hey, yeah! And again, that's not screaming, that should not feel uncomfortable, but it lets me go from no, 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 to no, 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 no. scale in this exercise. No, 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 no. That was a high F. That is higher than anything you sing in Wicked. Any of those contemporary musical theater belting roles, they usually sit in the E flat to E range. So if you're able to do that, you already sang higher. That range would have been the Wicked range. No, 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 no. And if you want extra challenge with these, sit on that high note. Practice adding vibrato, taking vibrato away. A lot of my students think that belting or mixed belting is just taking away vibrato, and that is not true at all. I, I can see where you would get that idea, but I can sing this. No, um, no, 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 no. I have vibrato on my high notes and my low, and I can control adding it or taking it away. With it, no, 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 no. Or no, 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 no. And that comes from practice, feeling the space and placement of these different styles of singing. And again, cross training. This is not something I expect singers to be able to do quickly. It takes time. It takes focus. And it really takes finding your own individual sound. The way I find my mix belt is going to be different than you or anybody else. These are just exercises that have helped myself and many students in the studio cross train. A lot of them sing, you know, contemporary musical theater. They want to be able to do soprano, legit singing, belting, mix belting. And these are the warm-ups for that. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know down below if you want to see more content like this. I believe by the time I'm showing you this video, I am already in rehearsals for a contemporary musical, so I will be doing warm-ups like this. If you want actual warm up with me videos where I will like sit down with the camera, film in real time, me warming up to go to rehearsal, go to press, go to shows. Let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.